just to live it. Cocktails and Combo, the show where we drink everything. And talk about anything. I'm your host, Michael Nubar. I'm your host, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and today's life talk is about the change of life. The change of life, As meaning menopause. Did you have to say that with me? I got this. <laughs> but let's take it. Well, but men have um, a change of life issue. Yeah, well. we we have we have a change of life issue, but um, the man's change of life issue is so much different because. I found out it's got a name. It's not the man, the man menopause. It's Andrew, Andrew, Andro Paul, Andro Pause, which is the same thing. Basically, the same thing happens in men that happens in women. We lose our testosterone, which is our testosterone. Y'all lose our estrogen. And, but for men, it's like for women, like y'all peak. Do you know what I mean? Like y'all, 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 when y'all get to that point, y'all go through it and then it's done. Well, for men, it's ongoing. Like we can literally go through it up until like 70s or 80s because it just takes longer for our bodies to rid itself of the testosterone. That's why you see older men still having babies because they're still able to produce Mm -hmm. sperm because it just takes longer. And we don't go through. The whole High physical flashes, thing. Baby. <laughs> we don't. We don't go. Men. We don't go it, through that. That is some disrespectful. Well, and actually, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I mean to cut you off. And but I should take that back. We do, but not to the, the degree, degree that, we, we that y'all go through it. Yeah. And it's a lot of women. It's some women out here have literally killed themselves because of the change. Like going it's, through menopause. Yes, because it's so. It's a mental. It's a mental battle. Because now we're looking at our bodies, realizing things are not the same anymore. Things are sometimes look worse. And, then, and oh, we start noticing things. Gray hairs where they never were before. You know, you start looking at your body in a different light because you are literally looking at your body depreciate. Mm-hmm. And some women let it flow and let it go. For women, we everything is predicated based on how we look. Uh-huh. Body, face hair how we look mm-hmm. like men can get fat y'all can get bald and y'all will be like boy you so fat <laughs> oh my god yeah, we saying, get yeah. big and it's like oh my god here come rotunda like get right, the hell right, out of here right. who's that that and, and then now she she's ridiculed she's called names mm-hmm. and she's belittled or even if you are just gained a little weight and you don't feel sex anymore you don't get the hey baby how you doing mm-hmm. you start because now you're going through menopause it's a mental thing going on already chemical imbalance it hot flashes you can't eat chocolate no more you just <laughs> <laughs> you can't do Are, what you used to do and your body's like it's turning against you so what so imagine how it feels for the women that go through early onset which is called pe- perimenopause Perimen- see mm-hmm. I, I didn't know that had a name perimenopause. perimenopause as early as 25 really mm-hmm. well you know because uh tokyo you know she went through it and she's i'm 44 she's 40. did she well i'm we gonna start talking about tokyo business. i mean okay. i mean as long as it ain't it's, it's, it's just oh. a general conversation we ain't being personal yeah. you know because some women go through the change early when they have um certain surgeries oh okay and she did she, so if she you have did a total have, hysterectomy yeah, she, they'll yeah, say and, go right into and, and that was one of the things that yeah okay so then that, then that explains why she went through it because she did have a the, the procedure of the hysterectomy thing but it was just interesting to see somebody so young go, go through, through it. it do you know what i'm saying oh my god like actually seeing and that's why i be telling my it. husband at times like because i i'm slow i'm going through the change and i'm like you need to really read a book because you one minute you happy one minute you are sad i used to laugh at my <laughs> i did i used to laugh at my mom when she i walk in the room like mama did and she in that now my mother do not cry everybody who know dd Dee Dee, queen d she don't cry. She be in that crowd. <laughs> you looking at her like, oh my God. What is wrong? You think every damn thing funny because I be in her room laying on her bed God. crying. Like, why are you crying? And then she gets so mad because she be like, I don't even know why you're crying. <laughs> so you in the room crying and you don't even know why you're crying. And see, for, for men, when we start going through the emotional part, it's the, it's the midlife crisis. When do you know that that's when you that's see when, that old man that's with when, a bebop right, on with saggy exactly. pants on driving that, talking driving slang. that Ferrari. Well, yeah, that's that midlife crisis, and that's a part of our Andrew Paul. A- Andro Paul. <laughs> Sorry, word for me to say Andro Andro uh-uh, Paul. Not in front of everybody like that. Yeah, I know. Seriously, Andro Paul. It's hard to say. Gotcha. Andro Paul. 
Thank you. Angel paws. But yeah, that's my ball. That's my <laughs> Why'd you go say Angel right? paws. <laughs> <laughs> and your pause. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's that's the emotional part for me. And we everybody calls it the midlife crisis, but that's really him. It's, it's it's the same thing. It's mental because then he starts to feel. We start to feel older. We start to think that we appear older. So we do everything to reverse that process. Exactly. Like I ain't old. Like my granny. She, my granny. My baby. She. You tell we'll her she old. To she the tell process. her no. She not. I'm young. I don't know what you talking about. Like granny, you are. You, you you keep thinking that. Oh, I'm, baby, I'm getting younger by the day. I'm like, okay, it's okay <laughs> to get old. It's okay to change. But you know, all, but I think all of us will face that 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 struggle because we all know that it, we're all we are immortal. It, we're it, all immortal. We're all immortal. So meaning we're all going to die, and we and we know right, and we know that these changes lead us closer to, to that. But I will say the the great thing about it is you you're having this time to go through that change. Imagine the the 22 year olds and the 19 year olds and the 15 year olds and the nine year olds that didn't. So. That, but that's the blessing part. But however, saying, going through no, all of that does not make it easy. easy. Oh, I no, mean, the was... emotional part. You find yourself watching television emotional. You find yourself in a conversation and you emotional. And you pissed off because you <laughs> mad because you fucking mad and don't even. You know why you mad because it's menopause and kicked in or perimenopause that kicked in and now you over here feeling some kind of a way over nothing and and then you mad about that and then it's hard to control it, women take estrogen pills, they take certain medications to control it. That's how it that's how mental it is. And imagine if you are not as strong going through all these emotional ups and downs. To, you know, you Thank feel like God. you're dying and you're not and then anxiety kicks in and I almost said now you're going through these highs and lows. Thank Whoops. God I'm a guy. <laughs> Baby, it's a lot and that's why a lot of men need to read a book, read a pamphlet, understand that what we, what women who are going through the change what the change what, what they're going through Guys, and what helps sympathize with your ladies so you will know when she want to kill This is you. the this is the most a woman will really need a man. I'm talking about mentally. Because she's going through so you need a strong man to help you through that. Because if you over here ragging at me because I'm going through highs and lows, like we gotta work together with this. But if you study giving it to me, you're not making me you're not making the situation no better. Like I'm gonna be on twenty. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm still need you to I am, man. That's what I'm talking about. But you, but you, you ain't never conscious of time. I'm always. But whatever, of time. boy, bad. But that's that's because that's what menopause is, you all. And those who are you know, going through it, I know y'all in the in the point that be like, yes, girl, because you men need to read a book. I, I, I can't land this plane. I'm not. You, you have. Nah. Anyway, I can't stand him. But anyway, so men out there, if you got a woman, yes, I am. That is going through. Please read a book, talk to her, understand what she's going through. And ladies, even though we are going through, because this is my point as well, we got to recognize that we are, yes, I do. I have a lot of them, um, that we do go through and we have to be conscious of when we wrong. Like if we just popping off because we just, it's one of those like days. Now? <laughs> like now? I'm not. He's making me. Like now? Wow. You all, y'all, y'all don't watch a couple of our shows. You about know where he, where he is and how he anyway, is I'm and how he can slight you. And you supposed to be all right with it. And I'm not going to be all right with it. Listen, I was the other day. I'm driving. <laughs> and, and now I we out to another show. I know, I know, I know, but so what? You, because you, we passed it. You, you got so when you passed it, you still okay. gotta wrap it up. I did. Okay, I just said read a book, help your girl out, and the women you gotta recognize when you are wrong. Oh, no, that was the wrap up. That was the wrap up. Anyway, they caught it. Nah, listen, listen. But listen, I don't want to no, listen. <laughs> I don't, I'm not listening anymore. <laughs> I talk about people who talk like this. You know what I'm saying? Like that is so ghetto. I can't stand it. But once again, change. When you're around something so long. And it's done constantly. You find yourself like, <laughs> so you, you and I can't see it. Up. See what I'm saying? You see, I'm, I'm over y'all, y'all, I'm so did over y'all just not hear I'm that? So and so you saying you ghetto? That is not what I'm saying. I'm you, saying you you're private, did, you you said said private. You are private. Keisha can come out. I, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you're a product of your environment, uh -huh. and you are. Yeah, oh yeah. And now I'm like, well, how, how, how do we get there? Because I, I took us there. That's all. You know what? We'll be back <laughs> after these messages from my local sponsors. Welcome back to uh, Cocktails and Combo. We are at the. Why uh, are you trying to say we? 
Welcome back to Cocktails and Combo. And then we normally would say business. This is, oh, I'm well, oh, yeah, you, we want to go there. Everyone, every time I'll be home that night. <laughs> so why don't you, why don't you, well, I know, <laughs> well, I know, 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 <laughs> so I'm about, to start over, right? I'm I know. like, oh god! So I get a stiff look. Oh god! Y'all see me looking real stiff. That's why. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! Look, we have the uh, cocktail portion of the show, and uh, today's cocktail is Black, Black Jesus, Jesus juice. juice. Black Jesus Juice. I'm not making it up. I saw the recipe, and I thought it would be fun to make. To make Black Jesus Juice, you need four things. <laughs> uh, black, you making me drink black Jesus juice? <laughs> you need four things for black Jesus juice. You need vodka. You need melon vodka. You need rum. You need orange juice. And you need pineapple juice. You need a couple of lemons and some uh, cherries to garnish. And we're about to get started. But while I'm, while I'm making the cocktail, Liz gonna be telling us the combo. <laughs> I just have a question. Uh, what's the question? Why do you think it I was going to say millennials, but I can't put it all on them. Why do you think people are detached from parenthood? Like the actual parenthood Jeez. portion. Not just having babies and sitting them to the side and throwing an electronic Sometimes system in their hands in and keep it moving. Right. I'm saying parenthood. Back in the day, our parents, even though they party, because baby, they party, party, made you couldn't wait to get older to party. But early part of that day, we have eaten a home cooked meal. We have had mommy me time, daddy right. me time. <laughs> right. We have been outside and we have played. We have came back in having questions, parents answering them, giving all the time because by nine o'clock you was normally in the bed in the or bed, down or at somewhere. Least all in the same room. Yes, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Like in the back room. Somewhere. In the basement. Chilled out, all eyes on you, so they can party. These, like today, you, you see the detachment. Like they want to. They, they, everybody want to party now, and the kids is left with whoever and wherever. Well, auntie, auntie, uncle, cousin. So whoever mama got the house with all the kids, yeah, why is that? Be, be, you know why? Because they had these kids young, and they 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 haven't lived yet. They didn't have, well, I can't even say that because we didn't know, yeah, we did. We had, they, they haven't had time to be kids yet. Do you know what I mean? Because every day, I gotta stop saying that. They get, they all become an adult. They, and all you hear is they still think it's about them when they have when a they child. When they have a child, right. And it's not. So it's you're, all still about trying to live, you're still trying to live that, that, that 15, 16 year old life that, that you didn't get to live. That single life with no, with no children. With no, no, no responsibilities. Child, and that, that's true. No responsibilities. But then do you think that, like me, like, did we mess it up? Yeah. Because. Back in the day, I, I didn't want my mom to watch my child, so I just didn't. I was the one that was 16 with the baby, but I stayed at home. I didn't go hang out. I didn't club. I didn't do any of that. But for the ones now, like we as grandparents, I see it a lot working in the well, I was working in the school system. So when you see a lot of grandparents are now raising their, their grandchildren. grandchildren. And I'm talking about, it's a lot of grandparents out here. Shout out to you all that have, that are raising their grandchildren, but it's a lot. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a lie. And all you hear is, girl, my wrong. daughter, girl, my son, and I don't even want to talk about it, and what have you, but we picking up the pieces. So did we not hinder them as well? We, like, we have to we, take no, ownership yeah, in, yeah. in some part we of did. that. We did, that's the thing, that we did hinder them. We Once again, this goes back to the conversation you and I had about coddling, and when, because we know the struggle, we coddled our children from the struggle, and thinking that, that, and that, that was that the right thing to do. Thing. And it was. It's right. It was. We did a good job, but it also kept them from the struggle, made them not able to understand the struggle or go through it. And then we it. had to realize, because we know the struggle, that that's what that's made what us. made us. But but we realized that after we seen what, the what how were. soft they were. <laughs> the results yeah. were. We, the we results realized were not that good. when we realized how soft they were from not having the struggle. Like, like, not like knowing. walk to the store. Walk. Like, if you don't walk. The store's on the corner. <laughs> walk. Like, I'm not walking to the store. What do you I'm mean not, not walking, walking to, the to the store? It's on the corner. Right. Woo! Stuff like that. That kind of sensibility. So, um, anyway, I mix those four ingredients together. The 
the uh, vodka, the rum, the orange juice, the cranberry juice, I mean pineapple juice. And now we got black Jesus juice. <laughs> Make it only one drink. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make this up. The, yeah, the, the yeah. makers of the drink did. This is Black Jesus Juice. Both of us for our first time. This is Cocktails and Combo. I don't want to say it. That's not good. No. I don't like that. <laughs> it needs the most. See, that's what we I should don't be like drinking. It. I don't like Black it. Jesus Juice. There, there are things on Cocktails and Combo like if we like the drink, we like the drink. I do not like that drink. <laughs> I am, however, going, going to, to drink, drink that drink. drink. <laughs> <laughs> but I will repeat, I do it's not, not like it, black It's Jesus not going to go to waste. No. But uh, we don't like it. It's not going to go to waste because alcohol costs. But I do not like this drink. Yeah, we want that it needs, it we needs want something. something. It's missing something. I don't know, but we don't like it. We need to move on. Voice, well, see, you're not, you're not good at... Drink, judgment drinks, cause you would drink. Oh, I, I can tell you if it's good enough. Yeah, what is okay. it called? The voice is gonna taste the black Jesus. What juice. is this called? Black, black Jesus, Jesus juice. juice. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> that's why it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the voice says it's not good. It's not good. Baby. Don't don't. Oh, they know it's good, baby. Don't make that drink. I know. Said. I said this would not be a repeat. Yeah, you're going to get a you, strike on it. Yeah. You, you won't be this will not, don't make it, you all, either, because this would not be a repeat. I don't that. know. People think it's different. It's missing. It's pineapple, pineapple in there. It's pineapple juice in there. Put more in there. Maybe <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Put something in there. Look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add more pineapple yeah. juice. Yeah. Pop. Wow, that might give it a little fierce. I was thinking maybe some um, put some cherry juice in there too. I was thinking maybe some um, but see, I didn't want everything to be pink like it I always know, like. All whatever, whatever. we needed to. Right pink. now, right now, y'all, we at the point where we need to make it taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it don't taste good, baby. So that, put that cherry juice in there. Yeah, that might be good. Okay. Okay. Well, we gotta drink some of it down. Oh, it's, well, um, I thought I, okay, I said. That brung it. That brung it to the oh, okay surface. That, that okay. pineapple juice, that little extra kick did just making it okay. It was okay level, but y'all. I think it's going to be one of those drinks that actually gets you drunk, though, because I can taste the alcohol. Yeah. Like, which. I don't know about London making drinks. <laughs> well, at least, but her drinks are, at least when she's here, our drinks Baby, are. Baby, but we were like a flimmer of a A little flimmer of a That was very drunk. That was not, that was not a good look. We uh, were very drunk. You should have heard him. Over like from some of the fun and I'm like, wait, what? Forgot everything. The name of the show is Cocktails and Cocktails. No, he was. He knew what he was saying, but he was buzzing to where it came out from fun and fun and fun. And he made a point to him like, I was was cussing the people out, telling them to go subscribe to the show. And then I said, there were he said it was hilarious. I'm like, now what did you just say? And London cannot make drinks anymore. So, <laughs> so to to go to get back on our topic. So, and that means everything that these damn millennials do is a there is a result of what we did or didn't do. Both. No, no, no. I'm saying no. I'm saying oh. it is both. But I'm saying basically they get to blame us. They well, what I'm saying is. No, I'm because, just saying as a whole. I'm I know, just, listen. I'm, I'm ballparking and, and what I'm saying is, at some part within that picture, because our intentions were good, so it's not like we set out to, no, to do it. So right, that's right, my right, thing. Right, so right. I'm like, yes and no, but the whole point is... What am I going to say? I'm going to need to land the plane, baby. If you don't... <laughs> you don't even know why you're on the plane. I'm going to go there like that. She never forgot why she even owned the plane this time. She can't land it. And she I can't even say I'm buzzed. You're right. Like, what you you just said. Like, it. It's like, I don't even make sense to myself now. Oh, Lord. Because I'm sometimes gonna... you don't. Something you got to bring it back. That's okay. I'm like, okay, I don't know what happened. <laughs> we were talking about the kids and the millennials, and I was oh, saying. At, at some point, I'm sorry, I got it. Oh, I got to lean in the camera. But at some point, we have to understand our part in it. Yeah, okay. Like, some parents are like, oh, these motherfuckers, no, that, but, but you see, know, we have a part in it. But then you're not listening to me, because I just said, that means every, that's what she's not, because I said, everything that, that they, that they learned or didn't learn is a result of what we did or didn't do. So, I'm blaming us wholeheartedly, 
I ain't saying we need to take a part. I'm saying we need to take respond, take the whole blame, the and brunt of the blame. And that's what I, we did for, because I can use it. Well, yeah, I, I think we need to take the blunt of, yeah, the, brunt, I of the blame. I don't think that. That's why I keep saying a part. I know what I'm saying. Um, and I don't know. Absolutely not. Because at some point, what we did was not wrong. We ain't taking the crack house and sit them down. They exactly. don't smoke I'm not sitting in front of them smoking. Right. We are we, we doing what we're supposed to do. But because we know the struggle, we, we shielded it. We, oh, we shielded we from it. And we didn't realize that the struggles would made us because we know it. That's all I'm saying. So we took our baby's friend and gave them a, a better life. I know mine did, baby. Mm -hmm. They had a better life mm -hmm. and what have you. And then they still looking for, like when you put them out, like you owe them something. Like you owe them something. I'm not mm -hmm. physically put them out, but when you try to make them stand on that grown lane. Make them stand on their own two feet. They start blaming you like, mm -hmm. well, hold on. I'm like, no, get out. You got, it, you got to be grown. At some point, you got to know you can do it. You have to know you can do it. And 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 when they when they do decide to make that parental step when they're 17, 18, 16, 17, and so forth, they're not through being raised yet because now they've been thrust into parenthood. So because they're not through being raised yet and they're still children, they're here we go yes. being parents again, yes. Yes. starting over because our grandchildren now become our main priority. I mean, they do anyway once your child But is not to the but extent no, 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 that that's we're what I'm right. To the extent where you're the parent. parent. Not the grandparent, to where you're the parent. That, that's that's the mistake me calling you mama. That's what you know you haven't. But done. see, it, it's, it's, it's so funny you just said that because until I was... I'm gonna say six or seven. I don't. I don't know what I called my mama, but I didn't call her mama because <laughs> I called my grandma mama yeah. until I was about six or seven. Even when I knew who my mama, I, I can. I'll never forget walking in the house going, "Mama," and both of them going, "What?" You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's when it dawned on me, like, "Well, damn, right. I gotta, I gotta make a decision right. here." You know what I'm saying? Because I called my grandma mama. I called my grandma mama. I didn't. I guess I did call my mama mama, but. Mine was for but, but your, that's my point. Yeah. Your, you put your grandmother on that uh, same, same level. Point, on yeah. that same yeah. level as mm -hmm. your mom. For sure. <clears throat> and what have you. And at some point, we took, because we took the responsibility off, she took the responsibility off your mom, mom. Mm -hmm. and, and took upon herself to take it because she know the struggle. Mm -hmm. But that didn't make her any better because now she, the parenthood part is, go, is over. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I can hang out. I can do what nah. I want. He's going to be here with my mother. And he, everything is good. So then we get kids disattached from their children because it's all about them. Who don't even know their children. Like literally, don't know your children. How is that even possible? Just think, I mean, think about that for a minute. Like this is your child. You raised, you had him, but he lived with your mom and daddy. So you see your kid maybe twice a month. Like actually physically see your child. And then it's like, hey, mom. Hey, right. You're, <laughs> and nothing's you're, you're, like, hey, you're, mom. you're my big sister. You're not my mother. My mother's sitting in the kitchen. You're my big sister. You may have had me and all that, but I don't have that connection or feel that with you at all. I feel it with her. Like, when I get hurt, if I'm in an accident, I'm calling her. I'm not calling you. You know right. what I'm saying? So, it, it, so it's like, wow. And, and and we didn't took it on again, and that's what I'm saying. That the detachment, like, why are these babies? And this is why they're so detached because because uh, you know, I'm sorry. No, babe. Go because ahead. I've because all of them had their children for reasons that were wrong. Does that make sense to you? If you if you really think what about what a lot it, of of been conceived. Yeah, wrong. Notion, I, like, right, I get it. I, right, right. But there's a difference between was it planned and this girl having this baby to think it's going to keep this boy around. Do you, you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean when I say wrong reasons okay. for having that having that baby because you know it's going to get you on some kind of assistance so you can think you grown and move out of your mama. You know what I'm saying? But, stop saying that. There's so many, there's different, var there's different variables right. to it. So it's weird. But for the ones that do, I got off track. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> you just passed that on to me because I told you just no, I passed lost it on. my train of thought. <laughs> no, what that's why I get older, that? baby. Oh. That's all. You're talking about anyway, it's our fault. It's our fault. I'm taking the blame. Okay, well. Even I'm even though something. I didn't have, take it off. even though I got, once again, I got lucky. 
my daughter kept stayed on the straight and narrow path as far as my eyes can see. She might have done some shit that I don't know about. But for the most part, but for the most she, part did right. she did right. So I, I didn't have that experience. I'm, thank God. I got, she, her, her husband take care of their baby somewhere else. I don't uh, <laughs> got time. But anyway, so until we, like and back to what you said, until we take responsibility for whatever big or small part we play in it, it's not going to change. And that goes back to kind of life talk, what we're saying, like the change. Like whatever change it is, at some point you have to take responsibility for that change. Whether it's good or bad, just own it. See, she thinks she be slick. She thinks she be Ayana Van Zandt around this motherfucker. I be mean, here. It's always the method. I be seeing it go for a second. I'm like, okay, she may can't lay the play, but she can drive the hell out this train. Baby, because uh. sometimes... That plane need to be elevated see, because see, something else need to be need to be said. Now she, she started to stay. She took it too far. No, I didn't. She should have just said thank you, thank you, gave no, her kudos, and she kept going. Because me, that's what that's a man thing. You want it right now. You want it right, instantaneous. That's a problem. Sometimes things need to hover to get a better understanding of the baby. So that mm -hmm. I, I don't like. Get, I don't like. I, most men don't. I do not like her. Most men I'll don't. Do but sometimes because y'all slow to get it a lot, so sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. We I'm slow to saying. get it a lot. Yes, y'all are. the sharpest motherfuckers you know. That's what you're supposed to say that. Now, if it ain't true, then <laughs> if it ain't true, you ain't gonna let me say it. Shit, you're gonna be like, uh-uh, no, you ain't. I'm like, you're lying. <laughs> you we keep it 100 over here, baby. Like, I have to, like, we well, be getting on my nerve. But look, anyway, you guys, tune in. Watch this, watch this grow, watch this go. Watch us grow, watch, watch us go. go. Watch us grow, watch us go. <laughs> <laughs> Today's music, by the way, is brought to uh, uh, to to us, to them, oh to you, God. to, to us. us. <laughs> <laughs> brought to you through us by Solange. Solange. So different from a sister. Yeah. So like left of center, which is but awesome. awesome. But which, yeah. but she's awesome. a good, she's a good listen. You can listen to her and be good about and it. And be good about it. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't. And that's my first time hearing her today. It has I'm, this, I've been grooving. It has this mellowness that's, that's complete. So but just gave a it's shout good, out to it's good through all her stuff though. I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. I've, I've listened to her before. This girl's awesome. But anyway, yeah, that's who the music is. If we want y'all to hear it. Because we don't think, we had the discussion that when, in the playbacks, y'all can hear the music. So we got that decibel level shit under control. Okay, but and we also know that you all see this backwards. No, they don't. No, they don't because see, it's YouTube. See, I'm getting together. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> don't explain it. Oh, hang on, right. people right. ain't them right. people. Right. These people, they see this. This how it's supposed okay. to be. Okay, that's right. That's right. Because we well, all are huge. So, oh, my phone. See, I'm gonna get the guy. See, <laughs> maybe, maybe you should. Maybe you should. Maybe you should hold off on that guy. No, because I'm learning the, you're learning, all you're the technology. Learning I'm getting there now. I know. We both getting there. Ben, trying to be tech savvy. I'm getting there too. Look, I see you straightening up your back. Because you, you, you always keep messing <laughs> with me. I see you straightening up your back. I, I can see you it like. It looks better. Yeah, it, it, just, it looks a whole looks lot. Better. Look, because, baby, when he don't do it. Nope, I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know, I'm like, do it. Like, I'm like, nope, I'm not doing it. Now. No. He looks, uh, I'm short. I'm only 5'1. He looks like he about 4'11. Okay, I'm going to do it one time, real quick, y'all. Disrespectful. <laughs> Like, That's horrible. I'm co-hosting with a 12 year old. Right, so look, after I noticed that, like, I, my posture's got to get a lot better, yeah, so I'm working on it. I'm working on it, and we're going to get better chairs, too. That will help, too, because if I had a chair with a back, I'd sit. Once again, you all. Watch us grow. Watch us work out. See? You just have to do that. <laughs> I almost got through a whole episode. I almost got through a whole episode. Okay, I'm going to get my life right. I'm going to get my life right. Almost, almost. almost. for joining us for another episode of Cocktails and Convo. Um, give us a shout out. Give us some suggestions. Email us. Cocktails and Convo. Cocktails, that's the letter. N. Convo. One. At gmail.com. And you can look us up on Facebook. 
at Cocktails and Convo at Facebook.com. And of course, you know, the YouTube channel where you should be checking us out at anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> On, uh, what is it? Cocktails and Convo. Convo. <laughs> uh, Cocktails and Convo at YouTube.com. Yes. Uh, all the time. Love is good. Love is good. All the time. Thank you. So you're a donkey looking by.